Mm. Oh god. Oh. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Bex going to be doing a food swap challenge. So his channel is called Somewhat Fit. There'll be a link in the description below. And if you can see if I look down here, there is a surprise package. So this box is filled with American goodies and fingers crossed they're going to be super yummy. Let's see what's inside. Whew. I am in the hot seat. Right, the way that I'm going to do this, I'm going to shut my eyes, put my hands in the box and the first thing that I touch I'm going to pull out and hopefully I'm going to enjoy. Right, let's go. Ooh. Never know how to say this word. Jalapeno, jalapeno, some pretzel pieces. And believe it or not, I'm 27 and I've never ever had a pretzel in my life. Wow, these smell so, so spicy. Jesus, I need to get some water. Maybe I'm just bad with spice. Got the back of my throat. Those are really, really spicy. Mm. You know, they're actually really, really nice. For me, probably just a teeny bit spicy. But you know what, I'm gonna go in for one more. Mm. And I'll just do a little closer. All right, well, this one's jumped out. Guess he's gonna taste of lemon. Oh, wow, he smells. <laughs> it doesn't smell too bad, it smells very lemony. Wow, they're beautiful. They're not actually too sour. Very, very similar to jelly tots in the UK. Oh, the green one. Mm-hmm. And by the, the sort of distribution of colors, I'm guessing the blues are the best ones because there's only one blue left in this entire packet. Which is now gone. Hershey's chocolate. Now, I've been to America quite a few times and I've never ever had Hershey's chocolate. It's really, really thin chocolate. Ooh, smells really good. Mmm, wow. That is really, really nice. It's almost like Cadbury's dairy milk, but the Easter egg version. Let me just whack that whole thing in. It's bloody lovely. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So far. <laughs> so good. Don't talk with your mouth full. It's very, very bad manners. Please isn't going to just be super nice to me in this challenge. And I know there are some surprises in this box. Will I put my hands on it next? Let's see. Some Pop Tarts. So, Blaze actually recommended these ones. So, they're frosted brown sugar and cinnamon. Two toaster pastries. Do I have to put them in the toaster? I don't know. Hmm. Now, I don't usually like cinnamon, but I'll try it. Mm -mm. Nah. For me, I just don't like cinnamon. <laughs> so obviously the taste very strongly of cinnamon. The texture is really, really soft. Um, Give me a sec and I'm going to toast it and see if it makes any difference. Now I'm going to just take this little piece through. Apparently you can microwave them for three seconds. So I'm going to do that and I'll bring it back. Maybe I've done that wrong. I really don't think three seconds is long enough to make any difference at all. Microwave instructions. Microwave on high setting for three seconds. I just don't understand that. I'm gonna go back to the microwave. The instructions said to microwave it for three seconds. I did that and it made like no difference at all. So I don't know if I was doing something wrong. I ended up putting this in for 30 seconds. So it is now warm. Hopefully it'll be a bit nicer. Ooh, hot. <laughs> mm. Not something I would try again, purely, purely because of the cinnamon flavour. Um, I would however try them with some different flavours. I'm a real chocolate girl, so if I've got chocolate pop tarts, send them to me and I will devour them. Ooh, marshmallow fluff. On the back it's saying, try a fluffer nutter. 
a delicious sandwich made with marshmallow fluff and peanut butter. Look, you can see that. Got peanut butter in the house. Maybe that's something that I'll try another time. Oh my goodness. This is fluffy. Be so fluffy, I'm gonna die. Mm. That is so, so yummy. That is really sweet. But absolutely delicious. You certainly couldn't eat a lot of it. Twinkies. Twinkie the kid, he's quite a cool little character. Reminds me of Mr. Chips from the game show Catchphrase. I don't know if you've seen that, it's a UK quiz show. Um, what are they? So 10 individually wrapped cakes. Golden sponge cake filled with a creamy filling. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> this is so light. Mm. Oh, that's so good. This is peanut butter cups. I do like peanut butter. I do like chocolate. The thought of them both together, you know, it doesn't really appeal to me. Oh, they're so dinky. Got their own little taste. Smell really strong of peanut butter. Oh no. <laughs> like really, really strong. Oh, I'm gonna just fill this glass up with water. I really don't think I'm gonna enjoy this, but I'm gonna go in with an open mind. Nah. Ugh, Jolly Ranchers, hard candy, bonbon, dears? I don't even know what that means. I don't know if that's like in English or if that's meant to be another different language. What on earth is dears? I don't know. Can't sell anything. Mmm, watermelon. Watermelon sugar. Ha <laughs> ha Tastes like strawberries. Wow, I'm so sorry, I can't say. Very hard. Just say it's a hard, a hard bonbon. Certainly a hard bonbon, I'll give it that. It's really good. Really nice. I am. Um, <laughs> jolly. Cheese it. Big snack crackers, and these are the white cheddar flavour. So in the UK we have things called Ritz. R-I-T-Z. For some reason I'm imagining that these are going to taste pretty similar. Mm. I'm not so sure. I'm not sure if I've still got that disgusting taste of that Reese's peanut butter cup in my mouth. Mm. Oh my god, I don't know what it is about them. It tastes like vinegary and cheesy at the same time. I don't know if I've got vinegar in them, let me check. I can't see any vinegar, but that tastes of vinegar to me. I will definitely not be having those again. I don't know. 100% real cheese, 100%. Ugh. Um, half iced tea and half lemonade. Never ever had iced tea. Well, it's not offensive. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I imagine if that was ice cold, so that'd be absolutely delicious. Even at room temperature, it is nice. But yeah, that's a hit, really, really like it. Oh God. It is the dreaded dill pickle. You've got to say. That's not appealing. 
The texture is foul. I'm really, really not looking forward to this, guys. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh God. Oh God, I could actually be sick. Oh God, I don't wanna look, I don't wanna look, I don't wanna look, but look, it's coming out. Oh, the texture. <laughs> oh God, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. I'll tell you what's putting me off is the juice that it's sitting in. I don't know if you can see that it basically looks like we. Oh, nah. That. That looks nasty. Challenge? Cheers. Get him out onto the plate. Oh my god. Look at the size of this pickle. Oh, oh, oh no. Look. Oh. Who on earth would eat this? Like the ingredients. Apparently, it is just a cucumber. I, I thought, I don't know. I don't know what I thought a pickle was. But I really am in a pickle on whether or not to eat this. There it is. It's just a cucumber, it's just a cucumber, it's just a cucumber. Mm -mm -mm. one of the worst things I've ever, ever eaten. Wow, that dill pickle and those Reese's peanut butter cups were absolutely disgusting. Um, anyway, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. That was just something a little bit different. Um, let us know in the comments down below which items do you like, which items have you tried? What do you think of a dill pickle? Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for some more fun content. See you soon. Oh my gosh, guys, honestly, that dill pickle was one of the worst things I've ever, ever eaten. Still got the taste in my mouth. <sighs>